tent to tent to tent, and then the final tent puts a shotgun inside their oh. opening and then oh. opens fire. Yeah, that can be just wasn't like random. Right. The other footage shows a PT Cruiser. And the PT Cruiser is a very unusual looking vehicle. Yes. And and the, the joke was, and I, I'm, I'm not making light of any of this, but they, I was being told the joke is you never see a PT Cruiser in East LA. That's a very uncommon vehicle. So they knew that that uncommon vehicle was tied to this, and they kept seeing an individual in the driver's seat. And so they realized they had an accomplice. And then when they started to put the pieces together, they realized the accomplice was the father. So in essence, the father was driving the son to and from the murder scene. <laughs> so now, I'll uh, take this uh, to the press conference back in August when I came on with you guys the first time about this. Now, that was by design. Now, that is a tactic. So I had already broken the story early that morning, got it on the air, and we had the sketch of the two people, the father and the son, which is funny because we knew they were the father's son, but we couldn't identify them as such. And so we had that on the air, had it online, and everything was underway. Now, the reason they do these press conferences like this is because they know they've got their guys. And they were sitting on it. They were watching it. And they, were, they had eyes on them the whole time. And they were just waiting for them to screw up. And they were waiting for people to come out of the woodwork. So they were, in essence, shaking the tree. Right. Doing that so by publicizing them, this, and they knew who did it, and they knew where these guys were, what, what do they expect the suspects to now do? Okay. What was the reaction they were? They were expecting that would lead to the arrest. It could be a couple things. It could be a few things. Grab everything and just move and go take off. That could be one thing. Um, a mad gas to maybe hide evidence. All of a sudden you take off and you're, you're carrying a duffel bag out to the middle of nowhere. Get rid of the PT Cruiser. Yeah. <laughs> it's something. Blow up the PT Cruiser. <laughs> All kinds of things. But also, as a result of that press conference, you start to get tips. And tips starting to come in. Here's the really ultra brilliant part of this uh that just just fascinated me and it wasn't until i was talking to a neighbor this morning it was across the street they took the flyers with the sketches of those two and handed them out at every house on that block including the house where they yeah. were <laughs> that's it that's a good way to intimidate <laughs> they went around handing out the flyers with the sketches on <laughs> And I didn't even realize it because I was thinking, I actually have sound from her, and I have sound from the detective, because it's kind of interesting about the script. So. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, this is great. Uh, I mean, Gregory is with us. He was on our show in August to talk about a uh, unsolved triple homicide. People were killed in 2014, 2015, and 2018, and they suspected that it was the same killer, the same gun used in the shooting, and he did arrest yesterday a father and a son for the murders. More coming up. John and Ken, say hi, Deborah Marquez. Governor needs to sign a bill dedicating more than $15 billion to fight climate change. The prolonged drought could soon create an energy crisis in the western U.S. A new report from the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation says there's a 34% chance water levels in Lake Powell will be so low by 2023 that the hydroelectric dam in the area will be rendered inoperable. Airbnb says the plans to house 20,000 more refugees from Afghanistan. We'll check in with Angel and see how those freeways are looking, and we will check in with the KFI in the sky next. Well, you've heard me talk about my friends at Sunday and how they can sell your home fast without any repairs, without the hassle of dealing with showing, realtors, cleaning, or making up trades. Now Sunday has made the process even easier for those who want to sell a property fast. Contact Sunday for your free no-obligation cash offer. They're going to visit your property, take photos, and do a 3D walkthrough. They'll package your property details and send it to the thousands of local investors in their database who are actively looking to buy property. The average homeowner receives 12 offers on their property. It's quick and easy. Plus, you can close in as little as 10 days or they have the flexibility to close in months. They can even give you a $20,000 cash advance, which will help with moving costs when you sell on Sunday. Go to Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com, or phone them, 825 offer. Get a free no-obligation cash offer at Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com. Sunday is California licensed real estate broker, DRE license number 0208298.
This is Clay Brown and here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Insuranax Pro Team. Rams running back Darrell Henderson was a non-participant in yesterday's practice as he deals with rib issues. The linebacker Leonard Floyd also sat out with an ankle injury. The Dodgers are in the middle of their series finale with the Rockies. It's Max Scherzer against Kyle Freeland in the pitching matchup. And according to Tom Brady's personal trainer, Alex Guerrero, Patriots head coach Bill Belichick never evolved in how he handled Brady, which may have figured into him leaving New England in 2020. I'm Jimmy Haffron. Try great tasting in Max Protein with 30 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, and nutrients to support immune health. Those who tried in Max Protein reported feeling more energy in just two weeks. For more information, including consumer survey details, please visit Insure.com. We have a stall on the 101 in Studio City. It's on the northbound side, but you're coming up right at the 170-134 split. The left lane is blocked, and delays are backing up all of the way from Santa Monica Boulevard. Hey, Scott Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Injury Attorney, SuperwomanSuperLawyer.com is in North Long Beach. Yeah, and we said a little hole with the campus fire in the riverbed here. Just adjacent to the 710 and 91 interchanges. Looks like everything's out as far as the fire is concerned. No lanes are blocked, but it's adding to flowing, certainly on the 91 eastbound away from Tyler starting just off the 110 freeway. Looks like the northbound side of the 710, another home of the campus fire. They're just mopping up here in Long Beach. That's off the north 710 at about Willow. I don't see any smoke for a distance, but I can see a lot of flying into downtown Long Beach. And yet another home of the campus fire in downtown. That's the 10 eastbound at Hoover. Smoke coming from under the freeway there, adding to a brutal drive, really, from downtown Santa Monica, from PCH all the way into downtown. Injured in an accident, this is Superwoman, superlawyers.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the sky. You took the off-ramp on the 5 southbound at Avery Parkway and Laguna Niguel being off-limit due to a hazmat spill, putting a, putting a lot of pressure on Camino Capistrano. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This report is sponsored by Sam and Ash Injury Law. If you find yourself in a situation where you're injured a little or a lot, this is so easy to remember. Sam and Ash is hurt in a crash. And just in case, put this number in your phone, 800-304-2000. Call 7 Ash and Burton the Crash. 7 ashlawcom So you love those solar max panels, right? I write like Valentine's Day cards to my solar panels even when it's not Valentine's Day. Next to be together? Absolutely. Solar Max has a brand new offer as well. They have the new Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. Call pound 250 from your cell phone and say that keyword solar max. Pound 250, say solar max or go to solar max tech. Com. Monthly payment available on fruit credit. See SLB number 972048. The Delta variant is making COVID-19 spread faster and more easily. Variants can be more contagious, aggressive, and deadly. But we know vaccines work. Vaccinated Californians have greater protection against serious illness, hospitalization, and death. We can help stop the spread and end this pandemic. Get vaccinated and wear a mask when it can protect you and others. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. The ultimate who does to believe you dying of laughter. Live on stage, Clue has murder and blackmail on a menu and six mysterious guests arrive at Body Manor. Based on the 1985 cult movie, Clue opens September 24th. Tickets at LaMaranaTheater.com. Income-eligible renters impacted by COVID-19 can now get 100% of their past due rent and utility bills paid through the California COVID-19 Rent Relief Program. Landlords with tenants who haven't paid rent because of COVID-19 are eligible for 100% reimbursement too. The application is fast, your information is private, and you won't be asked about citizenship. Apply at housingiskey.com before eviction protections end on September 30th. Brought to you by the California Department of Housing and Community Development. AMCO presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet You Didn't Know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, Bet You Didn't Know that AMCO fixed over 40 million transmissions and that AMCO offers a nationwide warranty. And AMCO offers payment plan options for almost any credit situation. So it's easier than ever to fix it fast and pay it off slow. That's AMCO, AA, MCO. Owning a business comes with pressure. 
There's a limit to what I can do and still keep employees engaged. Fortunately, there's Insperity. They took 30 plus years of HR experience to work to help me with hiring, training, HR administration, and compliance, while giving my employees competitive benefit options. And because I'm able to focus on other priorities, my employees can thrive and my business can grow. With Insperity, nothing seems impossible. Insperity, HR that makes a difference. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum Mobile. You could save hundreds of dollars on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator today, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save by switching. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Spectrum Internet required. Savings may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save for details. IR Radio brings you Global Citizen Live, a moment heard around the world. This Saturday, the biggest artists on the planet unite with world leaders to demand action on our biggest challenges. Featuring BTS, Usher, Elton John, Black Eyed Peas, Ed Sheeran, Lizzo, Sean Mendez, Jennifer Lopez, Coldplay, and other surprise guests. Join us for this once-in-a-generation moment to defend the planet and defeat poverty. Together, we can move the world one action at a time. Hear it all day this Saturday on Global Citizen Radio with the iHeart Radio app. Wake up call. It's the bullet points that you need of the day. What is your weather? What is your traffic? What is the biggest news headlines? What's happening around the world? LA County, San Bernardino County, Orange County. I mean, we try and hit it all on Wake Up Call. Mornings at 5 on KFI. <laughs> The police say solved. Yeah, uh, 2014, 2015, and 2018. This happened in East Los Angeles. It looks like all the murders were within a couple of miles of each other. So they made a, a big arrest, and they arrested a father and a son for the killing. Yes, and you should go to uh, your Instagram feed. Yeah, Steve Gregory 640, and you can see a photo of Anthony Velasquez, mm -hmm. who uh, is the killer. Uh, the dad was the driver, right? The getaway driver, Manuel. Right? And, and, and Anthony uh, is sure got a lot of tattoos. Uh, neither neither father or son believes in uh, shirts. And so it was uh, 4 30 a.m., wasn't it, Steve? Yeah. Uh, Steve was taking a picture, and Anthony uh, stuck out his tongue. Yeah, uh, so that, that was yeah, the first line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, wow. it pretty funny because quite a, quite a cycle of. Uh, yeah, because uh, see, I was the only one there at 4:30 this morning, so I got to see the uh, see Anthony Velasquez come out. And they, what they do is they put him in a van first, and they just let him sit there and stew in this van. And um, that's what just as they were closing the door, I was able to snap his picture, and he just gave me a scowl and stuck his tongue out at me. And then it, it was dark, so I at least got that from the light, the dome light inside the van. Now, he and was terrified. Yeah, I mean, he really looks like God. Well, and there's a in, in that uh, that's a great segue into some of this audio I want to play you. Uh, first of all, uh, Hugh, uh, Hugo Rinaga is the lieutenant in charge of the cold case unit uh, over at, at Homicide Jail. And he was giving me an overview because it was very interesting that that press conference I told you was designed to shake the trees, and, and boy did it, it shake. And it shook fast, and it shook hard, and it, and it, and it really yielded a lot of fruit. And uh, here's some of uh, Rinaga. We have, uh, we had uh, leaves come in, like you said. Uh, there were certain few, maybe two or three, that were really, um, really tied the suspect to all three of his murders. And um, in these, these three phone calls that I'm talking in that came in, or came in right like within an hour after the press conference. So they, they pretty much came out of uh, the woodwork pretty quickly. As soon as you make something public, is it unusual to get such solid leads so quickly? It, it's very seldom that we get. These, these big leads and these big uh, 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 witness statements uh, right out of the gate. Is it unusual for someone to go back and sort of settle in in the same community where the murders were committed as opposed to taking off and going somewhere else? So it's not unusual when, when your neighbors uh, fear you, you know, when there's fear uh, in the neighborhood. That's important because the tips that they got, the really solid ones, we heard him talk about like three major tips within a couple hours of the press conference. This is just unheard of. Hmm. And then they had the big LED billboard down at the Citadel Mall, down there in the Planet yeah. Commerce, and they said that thing yielded a lot of calls. 
Um, you yeah. know what evidence they have against them? Uh, it's, a, it's a couple of things they wouldn't get in too far into. Do they have the gun? Do they have... Well, that's what they were looking for. When I left, they had... they had. I don't know if you knew about this, the dog Satoshi. It's, it's like the first uh, uh, electronic sniffing dog. It's, no. it's a real dog that, that can smell <laughs> chemicals. It's not a real dog. It's a real dog that smells... It's a lab. It can smell uh, special chemicals in a... I thought it was an electronic dog. No, I meant like, like, like yeah, a sniffing dog. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say a sniffing electronic dog. I said electronic <laughs> sniffing dog. I said it was a robot. <laughs> oh, so it can, it can sniff out certain Yeah, it can sniff out hard drives and, and thumb drives. And <laughs> what if they tell there's <laughs> not a chemical? There's murder references? In the end. Well, no, here, that's how they catch a lot of uh, uh, sex uh, predators, the child predators. Because the hard drives or the flash drives and stuff like that, when they're used and they're turned on or put into a hard drive, it heat, there's a heat, yeah, it heats up, mm -hmm. and it gives off a scent because of a coating that's inside. And those dogs are trying to smell that, the coating, the, the scent of that coating. Right. And so they can tell you where there's a hard drive. The, the dog actually found thumb drives hidden behind a wall. Oh, wow. I see. Wow. Because, because the chemicals that, that, that it emits from those, once it's emitted, it, it's just out there. It just, it just permeates from those hard drives. So they start sniffing the wall, and they sniff the wall, or under chairs, or in cushions, or they can smell electronics. Really? Because it's just a specific type of chemical that they coat the inside of the hard so drive. there's evidence on the hard drives that these guys were hiding. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. And so, um, but they were looking for weapons, because the, the, all three martyrs were, were uh, gunshots. Um, but the thing that Reynaga was talking about here was the neighborhood and the fear. Now, here's a neighbor across the street that I was talking to. Uh, she was talking about the, she's the one that told me about the flyer. Here she is. And I see where God, oh God, the cops passed by and were sending pictures to each house. The what? The police. Yeah. There was leaving papers in each house here. With the flyers? With the flyers? Yeah. yeah. And I swear to God, it's like a Bible, so what it would like to. I told my kids, hey. That car! There's not too many cars like that! The PC Cruiser? Yeah! A lot of the neighbors were afraid of that. Yeah! Yeah! They couldn't even look at the TV! Oh my god! Yeah, but they're sitting right there in that van. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 When there was an accident here in the neighborhood, they just, they came out of their house and they got they got a knife and they punctured the tires of the car that hit other cars here in the neighborhood. And uh, the guy, the son, ran out and got a knife and started popping the tires of the guy so he wouldn't be. <laughs> I come pretty happy to maybe. Yeah. When I, well, she was really genuine. <laughs> well, no, what had happened, the reason she was so exasperated there in the beginning, because, you know, you know, neighbors, they're all coming out and they're like, what's going on? What's going on? And then she finally asked me, and by then I was cleared to talk about it, and I told her, I said, well, you know, so-and-so and -so across the street. And that was her initial reaction right. to finding out wow. her neighbors were arrested for murder. Hi, right, Steve. Great, Great work. work. Yeah, Bye, guys. Thanks for bringing us the story. Steve Gregory on the oh, left hey, of the Oh, you announce your uh, show yet or no? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I, don't right. think, I don't think Robin... I can't let her know. Oh, oh is he taking over mornings or something? Uh, <laughs> No, like <laughs> uh, well, oh, no, more to come. Actually, yeah, uh, it is, yeah, and it has a lot to do with what we just talked about. Okay. Oh, all right. okay. All right. The rest of the father and his son and some murders in East LA. They go back here. All right. Coming up next. Wow. You talk about a scandal-plagued sex abuse school district. We'll be talking about the Redwood School District and another big child sex abuse settlement case. Johnny Ken Show, Deborah Mark has news, KFI AM 640. William Shannon, weekday, KFI, and KOSP HD2, Los Angeles, Orange County, live from everywhere on the Air Radio app. So shooting spree in Tennessee. I'm Deborah Mark, live in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. 13 people have been shot, one fatally, at a grocery store near Memphis. The shooter uh, is deceased. Uh, we believe that's going to be from uh, self-inflicted gunshot wounds. Collierville Police Chief Dale Wayne says the shooting is the worst thing that has ever happened in the city. 
A man and his father have been arrested in East L.A. in connection with three cold case murders and just heard on John and Ken. L.A. County Sheriff's Lieutenant Hugo Reynaga says the common thread between the murders is Anthony Velasquez, who, Reynaga says, killed two men over an ex-girlfriend who Velasquez killed in 2018. Reynaga says the murders happened within a couple miles of Velasquez's home here on Humphrey Street. Is it unusual for someone to go back and sort of settle in? in the same community where the murders were committed. So it's not unusual when your neighbors hear you? Velasquez's father, Manuel, was arrested as an accessory. Reynaga says the father drove his son from murder to murder. In East L.A., Steve Gregory, KFI News. Disneyland has honored a U.S. Marine from Riverside County killed in an attack on the airport in Kabul, Afghanistan. When park officials found out the family was going to Disneyland to build a lightsaber to be buried with Marine Corporal Hunter Lopez, they arranged for the family to build it privately in Star Wars land. The family was also treated to lunch at the exclusive Club 33 at the same park where 13 glasses of champagne were lined up in tribute to all 13 service members killed in the attack last month. The family was also given Disneyland's own American flag in a frame. Prosecutors in L.A. say they are frustrated with the Mexican government's handling of Haitian migrants. In the streets in front of the Mexican consulate in L.A., protesters in a flatbed truck from multiple organizations have voiced their demands to the Mexican government. We are demanding the Mexican government immediately put an end to the brutalization of Haitian and black migrants. Protesters are also calling on the immediate halt of deportation of Haitian refugees and other black migrants. Like trolling camp, I mean. A church in San Diego says it's working to relocate Haitian migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border to California. Pastor Johnny Ojeda, a first Haitian Baptist church, Ebenezer of San Diego, says he is also an immigrant. So seeing thousands of def def desperate migrants in Del Rio really bothered him. That really sad. Makes me cry, pray, and I was asking the God why. Because he's relocated around 50 Haitian immigrants so far, and he's planning a trip to the border to see how else he can help. The Department of Homeland Security has suspended the use of Border Patrol agents on horseback because of how horses were used to push back Haitian border crossers in Texas. White House Press Secretary Jim Psaki says the images of people being forced back in Del Rio are horrific and that Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas has ordered an investigation. The Secretary also conveyed to civil rights leaders earlier this morning that we would no longer be using horses in Del Rio. Uh, so that is something, a policy change that has been made in response. The Border Patrol agents that are part of the investigation have been placed on administrative duty and banned from interacting with migrants. Al Sharpton went to Texas to get a tour of the migrant camp under the International Bridge in Del Rio and to speak against the use of horses to control the migrants, but he was heckled by protesters. Texas, you don't want your nonsense. This is a loving community. We denounce your racism and your hatred. Get out of Texas. Sharpton was forced to leave the podium after speaking for just over two minutes. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We have an update on that stall on the 101 in Studio City. When we are really seeing delays filling in North 101, the stall is just before the 17134 split blocking the left lane. And those delays, an absolute crawl all the way out of Hollywood from Melrose. We're seeing single digit speeds and now a couple of fender benders in the back end. Let's check in with Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Injury Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Is it North? Is it North Long Beach? Yeah, it's in fact, good Long Beach itself, but really the 405, or I should say the 710 northbound, a little before the 405. It's not Willow. They're mopping up the brush fire in the river wash there. So that attic is going into downtown Long Beach. Also, it looks like the 405 southbound. Very tough now from the 105. It's a car that's in by the time they hit the 7. 10, not so bad, into the LBC. And speaking of which, this is a Grand Prix weekend, and there's already several closures in downtown there. I would avoid the area. Anything within a few blocks of the aquarium, those are already cold out. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This hour of KFI is brought to you by Sunlux, your best value in solar for all your energy needs. Sunlux.com. Getting a little cooler. We'll talk about that next. If you want out of your house, uh, moving, downsizing, you have financial issues, maybe you've inherited, so you list it with a broker, and that means hours of cleaning and paving and repairing and paying big fees. 
So let me give you another way of doing it. You get a fair price without any of that. Buyer never walks through your house. There's never an appraisal. No commissions. And you can get paid in cash within 10 days or less if you need it. That's directbuyers.com. That's the company that Janet and Matt, brother and sister, own. And I love the way they do business. They'll never lowball you. They're just all in this book. And let me tell you, a lot of schmucks in this industry, and that's not what they are. They'll give you an honest, no-obligation offer, and even offer a $15,000 cash advance before closing. Go to directbuyers.com. That's directbuyers.com. Call 844-242-SELL. 844-242-SELL. Directbuyers.com. You know, most people think that varicose veins are just embarrassing. They're just a cosmetic issue. Hey, it's Dr. Wendy Walsh. You should know that deep breast untreated, varicose veins can cause ulcers, infections, and even dangerous blood clots. West Medical specializes in the most advanced, minimally invasive varicose vein treatments available, and it's covered by most PPO insurances. So call 1-800-WESTMED or westmedical.com to set up a free consultation with a vein expert today. I'm the KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow closed up 506, the S&P 500 up 53, NASDAQ up 155. And the average price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 438. Bay Alarm will keep your commercial fire system in compliance so you're up to code, not up all night. Southland weather from KFI, partly cloudy tomorrow. Low to mid 70s to the beaches, low to mid 80s in Metro LA, mid 80s to mid 90s in the valleys, around 84 for inland OC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooler on Saturday. Right now it's 81 in Orange, 67 Huntington Beach, 88 Northbridge, and it's 82 in Sun Valley. We leave local live from the KFI 24 Avenue room. I'm Deborah Mark. Joe Biden improperly avoided paying Medicare taxes before he took office, raising the possibility that he owes the IRS about 500000 in back Medicare taxes. Wow. And of course, he's been screaming as he tries to push the social welfare bill to Congress that the rich need to pay their fair share by this thing. Mm-hmm. He's avoided $500,000 in Medicare taxes. And this is from the Congressional Research Service. Yeah, um, and uh, I guess it's legal because there's a there's a, a bill that would end S corporations to avoid paying Medicare tax on speaking fees and book sales in 2017 and 2018. If it does sound like it's a good old legal loophole, yes, they said who who bought it, Joe Biden? Tell me that. Who, who listened to him? Speak? Hey, Joe Biden has a book. <laughs> Wait, Joe Biden speaking to us? He and the First Lady routed more than $13 million to S corporations. Yeah. So it's less than uh, 800000 of that is salary eligible for the Medicare tax. You see how that works? They yeah. exempted the rest from well, the it, 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 rate. It's legal, but he's uh, there. Uh, fun, uh, yeah, about fair share. About, about, uh, oh, people I hate avoiding that. and people using red The phrase fair share, share makes me want to fight them. I, I hate that. I hate that. I, they stop at that. They just yell fair share. And nobody ever says, well, what's, what's that number? But this is kind of what Trump did, too. He used the law. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. You, you know, hire guys to find out how you could avoid. Who wants to call a hell of a lot of I don't, I don't, I don't get mad at it. It's, 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 it's just a, a, it's too hypocritical. Wait, wait, wait. He's from the crowd that says, you're not paying anything. Oh, yet. that's the part, yeah. He's yelling at everybody else. They're not paying. Yeah. All right, we're uh, going to talk about, uh, uh, I don't know, a while. A big sex abuse case for settlement. So this involves the Redmond Unified School District, and uh, boy, you talk about problems there. Uh, Manley Stewart and Fernaldi is the law firm on this representing as a victim who will be talking to attorney Morgan Stewart. Uh, the firm had already secured settlements totaling $41 million for five sex abuse lawsuits against Redmond Unified School District in 2016. The latest is an 11 million dollar settlement involving a former middle school teacher. Let's find out more. Uh, and uh, Morgan Stavia, who is the uh, leading attorney on this case. Uh, thank you for that, Morgan. 